So why do you think that uh, Seki wins? Well, sure. I think uh, I think Seki kind of stat cliffs him. I'm not going to lie to you. You think kind of what? Stat cliffs? Like he outstats him pretty heavily. Okay, why is that? Uh, which one do you want to go over first, or do you care? Like AP, durability, care. whatever. Any of them. All right. Uh, go over AP, I guess. Um, I'm going ahead and say Seki straight scale above me. He was able to damage Muteba. He was able to damage Waka, and because AP and durability are the same, or well, not not the same, but they scale to each other by Newton's fourth, third law. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Zeki would also have the AP to damage Waka, and mm-hmm. therefore I think he would have the AP to yeah. damage Galang. So the same thing would apply to Galang. Actually, the scaling would be more impressive because we know Kano scales to Waka, and fucking Galang knocked out Kano in like a few punches without using Muay Thai. So how does Galang scale, uh, scale to Wa- or sorry, Kano scale to Waka? Because he completely overwhelmed Wakatsuki before. I mean, yeah, but in the screenshots we see, Wakatsuki is actually relatively on damage. It's just as right, it doesn't. It doesn't matter what you think. What we, what we know from the story is is that he got completely overwhelmed by Kano's power. Well, that's it's not really stated. what I think. My yeah, it is, that is. That, I mean, that's what's stated, so it's not really up for debate. I mean, yeah, but overwhelmed could mean, like, you know, he just lost no, the fight heavily. he said it overwhelmed him with his power. That's what he says. That's what Metsudo says. He said every fight before Gowling, he completely overwhelmed them with his power. <clears throat> yeah, but power doesn't have to mean, like, physical strength. It can just mean, like, overall combat ability. Okay, can you prove that he, that's what he's saying? Yeah, sure, because uh, this is the... Waka has a statement that before he's about to fight Julius, it's the first time in his life he's ever felt he might be inferior. And going into the Fae fight, he also said he'd never lost due to physical strength. So it wouldn't make sense for him to have lost in physical strength to Kano. What? I mean, he lost in physical strength to Julius. He had to use the blast core. So he yeah, has I can just it. go ahead and so, uh, yeah, get so the he has, uh, Right, right. You can have a statement, but the statement gets contradicted by the fact that Julius overpowered him. And it's, also stated, oh, it's also stated that Ryan is stronger than him as well. <laughs> It's stated that Ryan outclasses him, not that he's physically stronger. And it's not even him that says Ryan's stronger. It's no. It's not even Kano, the person who makes the statement I think you're referring to. It's like he assumes he means Ryan. No, I think he explicitly says Ryan here. Let me just get the scan. Yeah, go ahead. Uh Also, Ryan during the tournament had only showed brute strength. So he wasn't using Kure techniques, so he couldn't even be talking about Kure technique, Ryan. So he'd have to be talking about pure stats, because that's how Ryan beat people. Look in a debate. He explicitly says that Ryan outclasses him. So if Ryan is a, a fighter that uses pure brute strength, and he outclasses Wakatsuki, who also uses pure brute strength, what would that mean? That's fine, but uh, okay, what makes you fine, think then. that he wouldn't... Oh. What? I was going to say, what makes you think that Wakatsuki was also thinking he would only use brute strength? Like, I'm aware of your argument that he had only used brute strength up to that point, and for us, the viewer, that makes it obvious. But to uh-huh. Waka, who's in-universe and knows he can fight, and that he's like a top member of the Curie clan, because it's stated in his fight, mm-hmm. then why would he assume that he wouldn't use Birch? Or right, use but not, the Kano, he, Waka isn't the one who made this statement. Kano is. What? No, Augie Kano, just said that Kano there are two fighters that, that... Oh, Yeah, Kano said that there are two fighters who outclass Wakatsuki, and one of them is Ryan, who only uses brute strength. So it's not about what Waka knows. It's about what fucking... Uh, fucking what's his name? Uh, Kano. Kano knows, and we know that Kano accompanies Metsudo where he goes. Yeah, but like, so he'd have seen Ryan fight, and he knows that he's a pure brute strength fighter. Agito, Agito didn't say Ryan. Wakatsuki's just assuming he means Ryan. No, he says uh, Kano Agito says that there are two fighters that outclassed me. One is Kure Ryan. Yeah. But, like, we see their interaction so this, in the hallway. So is this after he saw the Kure Ryan fight? It's there too, right? Yeah. Okay, so that means that he would know that Ryan's a pure brute strength fighter. 
And we and that's him admitting that Ryan outclasses him. Like, buddy, let's just move on from this point, right? All right, all right, all right fine. Okay. So that means that Kano does scale uh, to all of that, and Gao Lang knocked him out. So why would he not just do the same thing to Seki Bayashi? Well, we're still on the AP point, so let's not get a durability yet. Uh... <clears throat> Right, so what's the counter argument for Gao Lang being able to knock out Kano? Like, uh, do we have to keep? Do we have to stay on this point? I have another point I could bring up. Then I guess. Sure. <clears throat> Seki was able to damage Kyozan, who can fire out raging, raging vigor, and so he would also have to be able to hit that hard. Raging vigor being four times stronger and comparable to the crater blast core left in the wall. And I can get you the scans for that if you want. Or not four times stronger than Blasco, I'm sorry. Four times stronger than his regular charges. Okay, so a charge attack doesn't necessarily scale to your AP. In the same way that Kano de- or Kuroki doesn't have to throw out dragon shot level attacks all day in order to hurt fucking Kano. Like, that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fair enough, but like... Okay, if, so let's move on. I feel like you didn't address... I did like, just address it. By just just having an amped attack doesn't mean that the amped attack scales to you. Are you are, if you're going to prove it scales to him, sure. But having the attack doesn't scale to your durability. And we just you just agreed that the dragon shot doesn't scale to Kano's durability. I mean, fuck, the dragon shot broke his hand when it got blocked. So obviously it doesn't scale to his AP. Or his rather, it doesn't scale to his durability. Or he'd be able to have, or he'd have been able to withstand that amount of force, right? We just went over Newton's. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. right. Them. So if you're saying that this is the this is an amped attack that scales to his durability, I need you to prove that. So okay. because that's shown to not be the case, unless you're going to say that Oma's regular punches are as strong as Demon's Bane. Well, that's kind of which would be ridiculous. Yeah, really that bad. would be ridiculous. I mean, it is the same thing. You're saying that an amped attack scales to their base form, and I need you to show me that. Can you prove that? So, what's the amp that Kyozan gets here in Raging Vigor? What is like, Raging Vigor? What? Explain it to me. Uh, he just bends down, gets super low, and goes as fast as he can at them. Uh, I can show you the explanation. Yeah, just send it to me. Yeah, it's just easier. So we're both looking at it. Who the fuck uh, is that? What's the what's the what's the matchup here? <clears throat> Galang Zeki. Oh, Galang Zeki. Okay. okay, okay. Actually, this doesn't matter. I'll steal man you on that. Uh, Muteba scales to Waka. Waka scales to uh, uh, fucking. Ryan and all of them and Kano skill like we just went over that. So yeah, adding did. more to your Seki chain doesn't do anything. So I'll I'll just Well I'm asserting that, that I'm asserting that Raging Vigor would just be stronger than Sure, we just went Waka over how, and we just went over how Seki Biyashi you think Muteba strikes harder than Waka? There's no way he strikes harder. He's just like dude, he's just dude. got more like wait, 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 you can't be wait, dude. hold on. You you're not involved. Do you think that Muteba strikes harder than Waka? Because if you say that they do, I'll just show you the scan of Waka beating the yeah, piss no, out of Muteba. Yeah, okay, no, so, no, no, no. He so doesn't. saying Seki no, scales okay, higher on, in Errol. terms of... Hold on, Errol. If you're not in the debate, do not interrupt. It's not a, a three-person matter. It's a two-person matter. Okay. So by virtue of Seki being hurt by Muteba, Waka being stronger than that, Kano scaling two, if not above that, and Gao Lang knocking him out, that additional scaling doesn't matter because it's still inverse internal scaling. Yeah. And it just starts at Seki. So that didn't add anything. So that proves that Gao Lang has the AP to just knock out Seki Bayashi uh, in virtue of a few punches. It's just not up for debate. I mean, he could black him out, but he couldn't, like, just knock him unconscious for full... Blacking out? Do you know blacking out is unconsciousness, right? Yeah, but, I mean, like, it's not... How do I want to word this? Hold on. Like, when Kano blacked out in their fight, he was immediately, like, back to consciousness after another hit. He was. He was knocked out. 
Could you get the scan? I don't remember that. Like, I'm not insinuating your lie. I just sure. I need to see the example to argue against it. Looking to bait. This is after the first punch. All right. His second two punches are able to crack his bones. And then he throws a flash and a hook. And he says throughout that, he had been blacked out. Since when have we been fighting Gaolang Wong Sawat? So Connor doesn't even know how long he was unconscious for. He just didn't know that he was fucking fighting Gaolang. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, he was... Knocked out for a, for a while. Like a, he wasn't like he wasn't well, like like how long? Yeah, well, yeah. He's like he has no idea how long he was knocked out for. He doesn't, but like, like I'm saying. Or are you saying that the formless is a different personality with different memories? No, no, no. I'm saying like the actual like physical, not his perception of time. Like the amount of time that passed that we see isn't that long. Like what right. could go? But you agree, but you agree that he knocked him out though, right? Yeah. Well, it says it right. Okay, so he blacked us out. So what is what does Seki do? <clears throat> like, how does Seki not get knocked out? I mean, he can get knocked out, but he can still withstand the attack, and then he'd be awake again. And besides, yeah, and then Seki what happens can. When Gao Lang knocks him out again. <clears throat> Seki at that point would be able to shift his vital areas, so it would be harder to knock him out. His vital, it, his brain. You can't shift your brain. Yeah, but like the hitman stance is an attack that goes for like. It's a headhunter stance. So you can't shift your brain around. He's going to make your I mean, brain knock around in your skull. I can show you Kyozen literally slapping him in the face and him taking no damage. Yeah, slap, getting slapped in the face is not the same as getting punched in the jaw by a heavyweight boxer, Darius. Yeah, but that slap cratered the concrete wall of the arena. It doesn't matter because we've already gone over the scaling chain that puts Gaoling above Seki. We've already, we've already gone over that scaling chain, and you agreed to it. So it doesn't matter what fucking Kyozan did to him. But that was an AP, and you're asserting durability, right? That Galang right. knocks so him out, and he can't. So we just went into Newton's fourth, Newton's third, whatever the fuck. Yeah. You can withstand as much force as you're able to output. And if mm-hmm. Galang's outputting more force than Sekim can withstand, w- what then? Like when yeah, every one of his punches are shattering his bones and sending his brain knocking around, what is he gonna do? Not every guard. He's just gonna take. Does, isn't his whole fighting style to not move? No, his whole fighting style is to um to take it his, right. Yeah, but to like move sl- so it doesn't like do right, as much damage. Can't, as it would, but I he guess. can't. But he can't do anything against uh, his brain knocking around in his skull. And if he puts up his arms to guard, he's gonna get his limbs broken. So how come that wasn't shown against Kano? Like it was shown. I just showed you. It says crack. It says yeah, crack but like then the first few punches. But then after that, it's just never mentioned again. Who cares? So that means it's inconsistent. No, it's not inconsistent. It shows it consistently on the page. You can't just ignore it. In that one get... example, but for okay. The rest so of their because fight. no one ever mentions Goku is blonde after the first time he uses it, does that mean he, Super Saiyan is not blonde anymore? No, no. that just. No, yeah. no, yeah, it, exactly. That would be flawed logic. This, just because no one mentioned it doesn't mean it doesn't exist anymore. You'd have to prove that those cracks don't exist anymore. Prove that. I mean, just the fact that Kano is moving around means his bones aren't fucking chattering. He continues, mo- he continues moving around during the fight with Gao Lang too, and that's where his bones got cracked anyway. So that's an invalid argument. You're not giving me a valid counter to support the thing that you're saying. It doesn't make any sense. You're saying because it's never mentioned again, it, it's not there. That's not, you can't prove that. You can't. It's head cannon. There's no proof for that. Uh, the only know, proof that there is that. is that he got his bones cracked. And that's what it, because that, that's what it says explicitly on the page. Like it's not my interpretation versus yours, it's what it says on the page. Yeah, I agree. I'm just going to go look at the fight really quickly. Sure, go ahead. Do you have any counter to the scan that I presented of his bone cracking, though? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to find a scan that where his bones don't like crack like that, where it's a direct hit. Well, no, I'm gonna try to find him. Not every it. single one of his blows yeah, are yeah. bone shattering, but he did send out a lot of those. There's a lot of crack sound effects. Do you want me to get more? Uh, is, that what, is that what you're looking for? No, I think. It, because if I just find, like, a few examples, then it's just inconsistent. That's... It's not inconsistent. You're not punching at your hardest every time. 
like, do you think oh, everybody's oh, throwing yeah. haymakers throughout the whole? Yeah, I mean, jabs are weaker than hooks, like, just explicitly. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what you're looking for. Yeah, I'm thinking. I mean, if you have nothing else, it's not, it's not bad yeah, to continue. Yeah. just walk out the ring. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't see where I can go with this, and I shouldn't have. Yeah. I'm right, going to have to call it. Yeah. Good debate. Good debate. You did. You could. You could. You worked.